Trump Shaper, we need your help. Hey everybody, it's me, Janus Rasmussen here. This is day number 15 of my calendar series. I hope you've been enjoying my videos so far. And uh, today I want to talk about a new favorite plugin of mine. It's called Drum Shaper. It's by Excellent Audio. I want to show you how I use it on all sorts of sounds, uh, not just drums, even if it's called Drum Shaper. It's a super versatile plugin. Before we do that, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment if you like the content that I'm creating. Let's jump in. So here's my song Nay again. It's a good demo song for this sort of stuff. First, I want to show you how you use this plugin. Uh, drum Shaper, here we go. Put it on my kick. It looks like that. Pretty simple. It's like a transit designer and uh, there is one inside of Ableton, inside of a drum bus. It has just a transient kind of uh, knob there, but it's not as versatile as this is because this one has uh, three different uh, modes, one for kick, one for snare and one for bus. And they're all kind of different than how they react to the material sent into it. So let's try it now on a kick. So it's cool. Let's try and give it a little bit more attack. Cool. There are three different modes. There's a classic, natural, and then a smooth. Let's see here the difference. I really like the classic one. And then there's always like an extra knob for every mode, like in kick, it's called tightness. The snare is called body. And bus is called presence. So uh, let's try that one, uh, tightness. Cool. So let's hear it in the mix. Or we can even take some attack out of the kick. Let's try that. I find this scope here to be super intuitive to use because it really shows you how what it's doing uh, with the envelope. You know, if you put a lot of attack, you see that snap in the beginning of the transient. Super helpful. And uh, so, yeah, let's just try it on more things. Let's try it on the rim shot, maybe. Right, let's put it onto the snare mode. Ooh, that's good. Let's uh, try it in the song. Now without. Should have maybe had some of that on in the mix. <laughs> Just remember though, it does gain the signal quite a bit. So you have an extra gain knob here. The mix is getting too much because if you're adding a lot of attack, uh, the first snap is gonna uh, bring your peak, peak level up quite a bit. So just remember that. But yeah, like I said, you don't only have to use it on drums. Uh, for example, let's try it on these plug synths here. Sound like this. Drum shaper, we need your help. Here it is. Now I'm going to put it on the bus setting. I mean, that's so cool. Just present straight away and, uh, you know, you get even more plucks. I really like that because sometimes when I uh, make a pluck sound, you know, the filter is doing it, but I want the envelope on the volume to be more, you know, plucky. And not all synths have an amplitude envelope. So let's try it here in the song. We can also try the other way around, crank the sustain up so and take all the, you know, clickiness out of it. Obviously, I'm exaggerating here just for you to hear, but I just find this so super helpful, you know, to quickly go in and grab a sound and give it more attack and less sustain. It's just such a great tool to have, especially if uh, you're working in a mix where you don't have maybe MIDI for your drums. Or for example, if your kick is in a, a simpler, for, for example, where you can actually do the ADSR there, if you're, it's, it's just on the timeline as a waveform. 
and then you could put this in and just give it still give it more attack which normally would be really hard to do you would have to do it by hand or whatever it's just super 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 helpful all right that's probably it for today yeah drum shaper by excellent audio not a sponsor i just love this plugin these days i use it on everything so yeah i'll see you again tomorrow with another episode of my calendar series toodaloo